Hi everyone! Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a new pro program called Fresh Paint. Um, so the first thing you're going to have to do is download the program. Um, so if you go down to your search bar at the bottom of the screen here and type in App or Microsoft, um, you're going to pull up the Microsoft App Store. So um, once it opens, um, it'll look something like this. Um, you're going to click on search and type in fresh paint. That will bring up this app. Um, it has a yellow background and a red frame. This is the program you're looking for. Um, so you will click get and then it'll say install up here. It um, might take a couple minutes to, to download onto your computer. Um, but that is how you get it. It's free um, with um, the district. So um, when you open it, it's going to look like this. Um, so you're going to um, start to start a new painting. You click this red plus sign, fresh canvas. Um, and so for this project, we're going to start with a picture. Um, so I'm going to open up my web browser. And I'm going to look for a picture. Um, so I'm going to look for a picture of an owl. Um, you can choose anything you want. It just has to be a photograph. Um, so I also did one that was a self-portrait, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, it could be an animal. It could be a landscape. It can be um, a picture of a friend or a family member. Anything you want, as long as it's a photograph. Um, so I'm going to scroll through these and I'm going to pick this one. Um, so in order to get this into my painting, I have to save it. So I'm going to right click on it, click Save Image As. Um, I'm going to put it in my pictures folder and I'm going to call it Owl1 um, so I know where to find it. Okay, click Save. Now I'm going to come back to Fresh Paint, um, and I'm going to click on this yellow <clears throat> rectangle with the arrow to import an image. Um, now, right now, I could click on Camera. Oops, I can't use it because I'm filming in here, but this would pull up um, my camera to do a self-portrait. So I could take a picture right with that camera, um, or I can click on Photos to upload from my computer. So I'm going to click on Find Files. And now I'm in my pictures where I saved it. I'm going to scroll through and look for my owl. OK, so now that is on my canvas. <clears throat> the one thing you must do before you continue, got to remember this, um, is to click on these, uh, this like stack of paper symbol here. Um, so it's going to automatically start as paint, but I want to change it to under paint. All right, so I'm going to click on under paint. Um, and that way um, I can paint on top of it without my paint blending in with the colors of the picture. All right, so, so for this project, we're going to be covering the entire picture with paint so that you can't see the picture anymore. Um, and thereby creating your own version of this image. So now I'm going to click Start Painting. And so here's my, my toolbox. I have three different kinds of tools. Um, it'll open up in oil paints. That's the center region. So all five of these brushes have oil paint on them. Um, so I have five different brushes. Um, they all have different shapes. Um, and I can change the size of that shape um, with the plus and minus sign. So I can get a really broad stroke, right? Or I can get a tiny detail and everything in between, right? Um, so these brushes come loaded with colors already. Obviously, you're going to want to change those colors. Um, so you have this little water dish here. Um, if you click on the water dish, it takes the paint off of your brush. Um, and then you can, there are a couple options here. So if you want to pick up um, a color from your picture, 
Uh, let me first get rid of these. All right, so if you wanna pick a color from your picture, you can choose this tool on the bottom. All right, so this, when you drag it over any color in your picture, it picks up that color. And now I'm gonna click it again to get it out of my way. And now I have that color on my brush. Um, so I can paint with that color, all right? Um, but because I'm doing this kind of small detail, I'm actually gonna zoom in. So if I, where am I? So if I pinch my fingers and then spread them out on the touch screen, I will zoom in and opposite, I will, if I start like this and then bring them together, I will zoom out. Um, and you can also scroll on the touch screen by using two fingers. If you use just one finger, you'll draw. If you use two fingers, you're, you'll scroll. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in. And now I can get some nice small details. I'm also gonna reduce my brush size. Right, and now um, I'm using my finger on the touch screen, right, to draw. Um, that's how you get the best, um, most control over your strokes. Um, now I'm also going to, so I'm gonna go to this little um, color wheel here. Um, so this brings me to all my other color options. So I can choose from this palette or I can go to this, um, this color chooser. We saw something similar in Paint 3D, right? So you can choose basically any color that exists right here on this color chooser. And I can paint with that color. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my brushes and I'm gonna get my detail brush. And so each brush is saved with its own color so that you can kind of go back and forth between the colors in your painting. Uh, but right now I don't want this gray. I'm gonna rinse that off and grab this other color from my palette that I just um, picked. And now I'm gonna do some details to make that eye. Um, and so for this project, again, we are using expressionist colors, so we're getting a little funky with the colors. Um, so I want you to kind of play with colors. Um, don't, don't feel like you have to make, use real colors like you have in your picture, right? Play with it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get another color here. I think I'm gonna go with this nice kind of pinky orange color to um, add to my eye. I'll make it a little smaller to get into this tight corner here. And so when I swirl those colors together, they blend just like real paint. So I can get a smooth transition by swirling my finger between those two paints. And then say I want to paint over this paint without it mixing. Um, so then I'm gonna come down to this fan right here on the bottom. If I click the fan, that dries all my paint, so now it won't mix with the paint that I add on top. Um, so I'm gonna go to this brush, I'm gonna wash that color off, I'm gonna grab a darker blue. And I'm gonna go back in to the pupil here and add something a little bit darker. And I think I'm also gonna grab some light gray for this. Oh, that's a little too big. So I made a mistake, I wanna change it. I'm gonna go down here to my undo button. I'm gonna undo that, that was too big. I'm gonna reduce this. And you do that again with a little more control. All 
All right. So um, I have a couple more options here. Um, so if I click on this pencil, that's going to open up my drawing drawer. So I've got three different types of pencils. I've got a pen and I've got oil pastels and soft pastels. Um, so as you see with the oil paint, there's kind of a painty texture. Um, so these, um, the oil, the pastels, um, both give you um, a similar stroke, but with less texture. Um, so if you're looking for less texture, um, the oil pastels are a good option. Um, so I'm going to, I actually kind of like that purple. I'm going to reduce my brush stroke a little bit. Um, and I'm going to do some of the feathers with that purple. And the, uh, the oil pastels won't mix with your oil, oil, oil colors, um, but if you um, add some oil pastel, the oil pastel will mix with the oil pastel. So you can get a nice blend, blending there. And if you, if you keep your finger down, um, it'll mix together, whereas you pick your finger up and start again, you'll get a fresh stroke. Um, so, and then I also have um, the black pen is really good for, for detail work. Um, and again, you know, you can change the color, but that's, um, that's the pen, um, the pencils, um, just like the others, you can, you know, change the, um, the size, um, that 2B is kind of the darkest and then they get lighter as they go to the left. The HB, um, is, is not quite as strong and then the 4H is the lightest of them. <clears throat> so, and now my last um, kind of t toolbox over here is watercolor. Um, so the watercolor, um, just like in Paint 3D, is going to be translucent. Um, so it's not gonna be um, such a solid color like the oil pastels and the um, and the oil paints. Um, and it, so when you use the different toolboxes, they don't mix together. Um, they mix with themselves, but not with the oil paints or the drawing tools. Um, and again, same, same deal with colors, um, you know, changing the size of your brushes, changing the kind of brush you have, that is all the same. So, um, from here, I'm going to show you how to save this. So, um, I like what I'm, I'm seeing. I'm going to save my picture so that I can keep working on it next class. Um, so, I'm going to come up here to the three lines at the top. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click Save As. Um, and now, I am going to put it somewhere I'm going to remember and I'm going to name it something that I will remember. So be sure to choose where you're saving it so you can find it later. Name it something that you'll remember so you can search for it and click save. All right, and now I have the start of a very cool painting. I hope you love this, this program. I'm, I'm really enjoying playing with it. And I think you will too. Bye.